Political history in Central Florida tonight. Seminole County has flipped from red to blue. There are officially more registered Democrats than Republicans, and it's believed to be the first time ever. After several close races in November, this could mean big changes in the political landscape. West Shoe political reporter Greg Fox breaks it all down and how leaders in both parties are responding. As one united people. It started in 2016 when Hillary Clinton barely lost to Donald Trump. We made our point loud and clear. That same year, Stephanie Murphy pulled off a colossal congressional upset over John Micah. Pulling this nation out of these crises. And the turn was cemented by Joe Biden's defeat of Trump last November. The last time that happened, Harry Truman's victory in 1948. Seminole County, historically Republican, home of Ronald Reagan Boulevard, is now blue though the Republican election supervisor would argue it's purple. And it's actually kind of a perfect storm for Seminole County because, you know, you, you don't have a dominant party. You actually have a group of individuals that do not want to connect to either party. There are now 118,306 registered Democrats and 117,999 registered Republicans. Independent voters are getting close with 98,796 and those of other parties number 6,600. The fact that there are now more registered Democrats than Republicans in Seminole County could have huge ramifications as soon as next year's midterm congressional elections, which also will have state house and Senate races. At least Democrats hope it'll make a big difference after losing a Senate and three House seats last year. Our goal, of course, is to elect Democrats. So, yes, we have to have a lot of people registered to vote, but we've got to have great candidates and we've got to get those Democrats and the no party people out to vote. Pasha Baker, who lost a state House race, says the new registration numbers will encourage more diverse candidates to run. We just want those ideas, the methodology, different experiences to parlay into government. I'm concerned that this Democrat governance would take over our, our counties. Republican lawmaker Scott Plakin is term limited, so his wife Rachel is running for his seat next year. She's betting Seminole's independent voters lean conservative. Um, a lot of these independents are women, so I hope that I'll be able to reach out to them. Seminole now joins Orange and Osceola as the only blue counties in the region. Greg Fox, West U News. The new numbers will be filed with the state next week. Seminole County Democrats plan a celebration next Thursday night.